Good morning, everyone. Well, I survived the storm, as you saw in the quick video. I just thought you guys should see a little bit of what it looks like out here. I know enough to get out of the tent when the wind's blowing hard. That's why I was in the car filming. And it bounces back. It's just that sometimes it knocks things off the shelves and I gotta go or off of the tables. I gotta put it back in there. This is the south. This is that time of year. I mean, the Midwest and the plains are all getting heavy duty tornadoes. Uh, we could have some come through here, but just plain high winds is all you need. An RV or a camper is not immune to it. It's just, it's better. So at first I thought a pop-up, but then there's a pop-up next to me that had some damage to it. It's not completely foolproof for the wind. So I'm decided to go one step higher. Keeping that in mind, I can't tow anything bigger than a pop-up with my current car. So I'd have to trade my car for something that, like a pick -em up truck or something, something that can tow five or 6,000 pounds, or switch completely to an enclosed RV. So in doing so, um, then I've got everything there and I can tow my current car. And that way I get someplace and I still have transportation that's economical. If you drive a, these people that drive a class A, they tow a vehicle behind. Because one thing, you don't want to disconnect it because it takes a little while to connect it. And then you don't want to have to use the gas to take it someplace. Even the people here that have trailers and smaller RVs, they have things that they have to deal with. Most places don't have dump sites. I'll explain that in a second. Don't have dump sites at your location. You have to go someplace as a central location. You've got two holding tanks and a large RV, larger than a pop-up. Uh, depends on what size and the age. One's gray water, which is your dishwasher and all the other stuff, hands in the sinks and all that stuff. It's relatively clean water. Some places will let you dump that into certain collection spots throughout the park. Just And it may be close enough you can run a hose from your site. But the black water, that's your toilet tank, basically. That has to go into a septic tank. There's a place for them on most campsites. And if you don't want to move your rig, then you get a little tow behind. It's a little cart that you dump into first, then you take that to the dump station, empty it, and repeat until you're empty in the, in the RV. Okay. Yeah, I know all this stuff because I watch videos on this stuff. There's a couple of people on, on YouTube that I like watching. One's an ex-Navy uh, guy, uh, a full lifer type Navy guy, um, retires with pretty much full pension. And his wife and they travel around the country in an are in a in a class a so i learn a lot from them and there's two or three other little ones that just tell you how to do stuff there's of course bob out of uh arizona i forget what his last name is but he does these channels on you know how to be a full-time camper in the back of a volkswagen bug or something along that he does go up a little bit in, in size, but people come in there with modified U-Haul vans, everything. The more I'm talking about this, I think I'm going to make this an interim one. Because what we're doing, as we're going through Revelation, we just had the sixth trumpet. And we're getting ready to get into a little reprieve of what's going on. And I think before I do that, I'm just going to make this just a general talk because what we're seeing next is just a general talk. Okay, so things are getting bad, getting worse. Biden is for all practical purposes, and I used his name and I hate to do that um, so I don't get filtered, has basically doomed the United States. 
by refusing to help Israel. Now, they, he said he wasn't going to help him on offense, but he would help him on defense. Well, now he's saying, let Hamas go, go back to where they were before. The country that and the people that want to completely annihilate the, the Jews, let them go ahead and just, just let them off the hook. Despite October 7th, despite everything, just let them off the hook. And if you don't, we're not going to help you anymore. We're not going to give you your arms that we promised you, that they promised Israel. He is evil, or at least his puppeteer is. I can't really say he's evil because he hasn't got a brain left anymore. Weekend at Biden's. Any case, we are still looking at some major things. One of my guys on here is telling us that BlackRock is telling their people to diversify out of the dollar. Get over into Europe and Brexit and get over there, you know, whatever you want to do, but get out of the dollar. It's getting ready to collapse, in other words. There's a lot of things going on in the world that the average person has no clue because their average person is being forced to work. They just said in Atlanta area, North Georgia, that the price of rent has gone up three times when the wages have not. It's getting very hard to even survive finding a place. They're doing it on purpose. Our fearless leader, I'm not going to mention his name again, said that when he took office, the inflation rate was at 9% or something. That's a lie. Is it one and a quarter or one and a half or something like that? He just lies and the media just takes it and just spreads it out like manure. The people have no idea. And as we're reading through these horrible things in Revelation, we're finding out that people don't care about God. Even in spite of all these things happening, to wake them up, they're going, okay, we're awake, we don't want you, leave us alone. What do you do? You know, God's not sending people to hell. They're running, they're galloping, leaping, Now, Satan's got him pretty well hoodwinked. The lies that are out there from him and everything else around, if they knew the truth, they might be more likely to be open to God. Okay, who's this coming out? Okay, I don't know the first car, and I don't know the second one. I don't know either one of them. I'm looking for the Ranger. He left before the weather hit this morning, and I wanted him to see my video. There's a few more storms that came in like that, but that was a really, it was a small storm that came through, and you think, well, it's small. Well, a lot more wind, because it's more compact. The bigger front, when it came by, lots and lots of rain. <clears throat> and I had to patch the hole in my floor from having my chair. I've got, my tent's big. I've got two chairs in here. The one I'm seat seated at now so I can film out this window. And the one that's over there that allows me to sit and have breakfast and coffee over there. Or if I don't want to take two steps, I can sit here. But I was moving that one chair back and forth constantly because that's a better spot. I figured out I've got too many clothes in here. I had a stack of clothes like that on each side. And when the wind was blowing, it was encouraging the sides to collapse. That's probably the main reason that the one side collapses. I had way too many clothes. I've got to keep all these clothes handy and hung up so that I can do work when it comes up. 
I need to find another solution for that as well. If I had an enclosed vehicle that I could hang stuff in, then I could take more stuff and keep it keep it neat. If I take it to the cleaners and come back and wad it up in my clothes bag, they get wrinkled again. I've got a steamer, but everything takes time if you don't do it right the first time. All right, so get yourself started on prepping if you haven't. Get yourself some tracks to hand out to people if you don't have any. We need to put the full court press down. We're, we're down to the two minute warning, okay? Put it in sports talk here. I do have my lesson plan ready, but I'm not, I'm not gonna do it today. I'll do this one tomorrow. I was supposed to go see my son today. I'm trying to encourage him to keep doing what he's doing. He likes what he's doing now and he's actually talking, but I think the storm, um, I haven't seen him online yet. He gets tremendous migraines when a major storm front goes through and we had a major storm front. The weather that's going on right now is not what we're used to. Is this the new norm as well? Really big bad weather? Could be. We've had major hurricanes hit right after our government did something stupid. So could this be part of that? I don't know. We've got solar flares raising havoc with our satellites. Most commercial satellites, including Starlink and Musk and you know everyone that's up there, they cannot handle a major EMP. The satellite system I help design that's up there will handle a major EMP. In order to take it offline, it will take a direct hit from a missile. And a couple of years ago, Russia launched a missile at one of its old satellites, big one, and blew it to smithereens to say, okay, America, we know how to take these guys out, so don't think your satellites are going to stay up there and work. If we go to war, we're taking down your communication. If you study any of the history of the first two world wars, <clears throat> the wars to end all wars, you'll find that the biggest problem that we had with the enemy and the enemy had with us was communication. We were able to break the Enigma box and know what the enemy was doing. If you see the, study, the uh, movie Midway, it's a little Hollywood, but it still tells you they couldn't, with their radar, which was brand new, and there was radar working on an island the day of Pearl Harbor, and they got the pings and they said, ah, that's new toy stuff, it's not working, just ignore it. If you look at Tora 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 or Midway or one of these, they were constantly changing which planes they were going to be flying. You can only keep so many planes in the air and they got to be refueled, things like that. You take off with torpedo boats, the ones that can drop a torpedo and take out a ship, or you load them with bombs so they can take out, you know, flat tops, or you send fighters up. And they never, they kept, if you saw the movies, they just kept switching back and forth because they didn't know. It's bad weather. They didn't have radar. Now, we've got full visual communication around the world right now, but it could be taken out. The times that we're in are not getting better, and whether or not we go to war, our country is being destroyed from within by people with that intention. These billionaires that are pulling the strings are still alive. 
they probably should be dead. Most of the people of their generation are dead. They're not yet. And the Antichrist is working out there right now. But he's not in the forefront. We'll see when we get further on that the harlot is riding the beast, the Antichrist. And he doesn't have the super powerful demon spirit yet. And the pit's opened and the polyon comes out. That, that uh, super beast will take over the Antichrist. He will kill the two witnesses. And then it goes really down fast. But there's so much stuff going on even before that. And that people still won't accept it. So your job is not to win the world. God could do that if he really wanted to as far as getting the message out. But he won't force people against their will. He could get the message around the world. In fact, he's going to send angels around the world to pick up for what we aren't able to do. But they're not going to accept it. He wants us to be a part of it. We're part of the family. He wants us to be able to look back and say we helped save souls. What is this? Who are we? That's another car. I think the storm's all completely blown through and there's just people just wandering out. See what's going on. I'm going to have to, well, since I didn't see my son today, I'm going to go visit him tomorrow. On the way home, I've got to get some salad dressing. I bought another pack of salad and some croutons. And I was going to make a salad and I opened the box up and there was that much salad dressing in there. So I got a, a small salad. So i got to get some more salad dressing. That's got nothing to do with camping. That just has to do with attrition, keep, keeping up with what I use. All right. So how long have I been talking? I've been talking too long. This is just a general, take it easy, people. You know, we're going to have to deal with this world as it comes to us. Just be ready. That's all you can do. Or Boy Scout motto, be prepared. I don't support the Boy Scouts anymore who just changed their name. They got rid of the Boy Scout, the boy part of it. They're just scouts. They, they caved into the woke. And now I don't encourage anyone to sign up for that organization. Anyone who caves into woke, they don't deserve the support of good people. And that includes churches, anyone who caves to it. All right. I'm going to wrap this up, then I'm going to go over my next video process. We're, we're like I said, we're in between the sixth and seventh trumpet. There's a little bit of a break. Chapters 10, 11, and 12 are a little bit different than what we've been following. There's still plenty of action. This would make a good movie. A sad one. Till we meet in the clouds. God bless. A little bit of rain this morning. I'm in my car. I was getting ready to leave and I thought I'd better wait and see what happens.